Hello, today I'm here with the director of a film called Eva and Adam, running in our children's and youth film section. I'm here with Karoline Kovan. Karoline, welcome. Thank you, thank you. It's a pleasure meeting you, at least online. Unfortunately, mm -hmm. you don't have the chance to travel to Lübeck this time. Unfortunately but... not, yes, that's true, yes. But nevertheless, I am so happy that we have the honor to present the German premiere of Eva and Adam. And Caroline, this is your first, uh, yeah, yeah, your first feature film. Can yes, you? It's the, first, it's the first feature film. I've done quite a few different TV dramas and, and on children's TV series and quite a lot of youth films for TV as well, SVT, among others and I've done crime dramas, so I've done quite a lot, but it's the first feature film. Yes, that's true, yeah. And with the first films, I'm always quite curious, why did you choose to make exactly this film? Well, I really like the story about the first love. I mean, everyone will recognize themselves in that because everyone have a, a first love. So I really thought that was interesting. And I also really liked the characters of, uh, Eva and Adam, because I don't think Adam is the most, um, uh, how do you say, forward guy, you know? And I really liked that, that he was a bit more shy and I didn't know what to do. And Eva was more this football girl and a bit stronger. I liked that sort of, and how they met and all that. And also I really liked the story with Eva's be best friend and what she's going through. And, uh, how important the love between your friends is as well. So I really like the, the, that kind of, uh, this whole thing of the story. So, yeah. <laughs> you already mentioned your two main characters. Um, mm -hmm. The actors behind those characters, were they experienced in acting or was it the first acting experience for the two, for Sonia and Ola? Sonia and Ulle, they've both been acting, but never in the film. Uh, Ulle, uh, actually I found him through a um, children's TV program that my son watches. And we done, we did like, we met so many young actors or young people that we wanted to see if they could be Adam, but we didn't really find the right one. And then we saw him in this program and I'm like, oh yeah, he, he, he has something. And my son loved him. So I thought I'll take him in and see what, how that would work. So I found him, so he's done a little bit, but not like acting in the film. And Sonia, she's done a little bit of theater, but she, or musicals, but she's never done film either. So it was the first time for both of them. And before you decided um, finally whether those two kids will be your actors, did you give them um, scenes together to see how they work in, as a couple? Yes, I did. We did quite a lot actually. Um, and I tested different pairs, you know, uh, Ulle with other girls and Eva with other boys. And also, um, Sonia also tried for the part as uh, Annika, you know, so I'll shift it. So it was almost like a workshop, uh, which was good. Um, I think that made them feel safe. And um, so we did quite a few scenes that we later on had in the film as well. Um, so I, yeah, that was a good thing for all of us, actually. <laughs> and how old were the two, uh, the two kids when you shoot at the film? When you uh, they were actually because of COVID, we actually had to push it forward quite a few times. But when I signed them or we signed them and they got the part, they were both 12 years old. And I think I think actually Sonia turned 13 just before we started. And Ulle, he's turned 13 at the end of the shooting. So they were 12, 13. Yeah. So uh, um it's still the age in which being in love can be very embarrassing. And yes. what was it challenging for those two to act being, yeah, have a crush on each other and fall in love with each other? Or was it totally fine for the two to, to play those roles? Well, I, I guess that's a question for them really, but um, we talked quite a lot about it. And I think, I don't think any, 
I think they were a little bit embarrassed, but also when we did in the casting process, we did that, but they, this kind of falling in love bits, I don't know. I mean, obviously you've seen the film, but when it's a, it's a sequence when they, without giving it away too much, but when they have a small peck, they kiss each other a little bit. And so we did that scene in the casting sequence and, uh, but they didn't have to kiss each other. They just came very close. And I just said, you know, just try to be within the moment and just see if you can get close to each other without feeling too embarrassed. And so we did a few different takes on that and so on. So um, I think they were just fantastic. They were so natural. They were so wonderful people, really. And um, they just got into it. Like they were so, what will you say? They were so um, committed. And they just really uh, got into the characters and everything. So um, a little bit of embarrassment, but not too much. And it became really good friends as well. So I think all the kids playing in the film, they all are like really good friends today. They still meet up. So that's a good thing, I think. <laughs> <laughs> you already mentioned COVID. In Sweden, the things were not as strict as here in Germany, but... Um, Yes, how did uh, the COVID pandemic influence the shooting? Was it very difficult to prepare things or was it just as usual? No, it wasn't as usual, <laughs> um, like you said. No, it was really, it, it was actually, um, we had to postpone the shooting like two or three times. And at some point we were really like, me and the producer and the photographer and everyone, we were quite scared, you know, do we dare to go on a, on a train down to Gothenburg? We live in Stockholm and we shot the film in Gothenburg. And um, so for quite, I think almost a month or two, the film was just, we didn't do anything because we didn't know what to do. Are we going to shoot it? Are we going to push it for another year? And so on. So um, that was, um, so that was a bit um, difficult. Um, but also with the casting, it was a bit difficult for a bit because we didn't want to bring a lot of people in the same room. And um, so we actually did a little bit of casting outside in the open air. Um, but also some of the casting wasn't ready even, you know, like a month before we started shooting just because of the COVID, because we hadn't time to test the different children in different constellations. Um, so, but still, seeing how other countries had it, we were, it was quite easy in that sense in Sweden, because we didn't have that strong restrictions. We could all go out and children still went to school and so on. But I think a lot of people were scared. Uh, and then when we had the shoot in Gothenburg, it was quite good because it wasn't too much Corona at the moment. So, and then, because we talked about whether we're gonna do shoot it in the summer or we're gonna shoot in the autumn. So we were very sort of ambivalent. And then we decided to do in the summer also because of the kids didn't go to school. So that was a good thing. And thank God we did because, you know, when the autumn came, the COVID went up again and the, the restrictions actually became stronger here in Sweden. Mm -hmm. So um, um, we had a little bit of problems, but not too much, I would say. And we didn't actually have anyone in the team getting COVID or anything. So yeah, it was a different way of shooting. <laughs> Yeah, I can imagine. Yeah. <laughs> And how many shooting days did you did you had? I think we had 35 or 33 or 35. Yeah, something like that. Yeah. The whole summer vacations. <laughs> Sorry? The whole summer vacations. <laughs> yeah, the whole summer vacation. <laughs> yeah. No, but it was really fun. It was a really good atmosphere and um It was really, it was really one of the best projects I'd done. It was a really good atmosphere on set. Mm -hmm. And um, yeah, it was great. Um, there are a lot of minor roles, which are also very, for me, special because they're, you know, you have a lot of characters. You don't have any stereotypes. You have three characters. And may I ask the, the siblings, um, Eva's mm -hmm. brothers, were mm -hmm. there, Was it quite sure how much you will involve those um, characters in the story or was there maybe also a development during the shooting that you 
thought, okay, maybe we can include the smaller Prada, the younger Prada with his love feeling as well. Or was everything sure from the beginning? No, I think, I mean, I mean, as most films or TV programs you make, you um, uh, tend to shoot maybe a little bit more that actually comes in the film. And then when you're actually sitting in the editing room, you actually see it's more like clear, here's the film. So, I mean, certain scenes may be um, uh, disappeared. And um, because also, I think, I think in the script, I think um, her big brother was a little bit more um, mean if you know what I mean. Mm -hmm. It was a more scenes where he was like a bit more repetitive about not being so nice always to his sister. But when we edited, we actually saw that quite quickly. You, you, you don't, you didn't need so much of that, you know, because you wanted to have that kind of love, sibling love. Uh, but also he was fantastic. The actor, I think, playing his, uh, her older brother uh, so he was actually one of the few people that I wasn't actually on the casting and actually gave him a role just seeing the casting tapes because I just thought that's him. He is Togba. Um, and also the small guy, I, I met him a couple of times because he lives here in Stockholm. Um, but um, yeah, they were like really like uh, hanging out together, becoming like really friendly and, you know, being like, close friends on sets so that was lovely to see so I think that they took that with them when they were acting actually <laughs> and how about the title Eva and Adam of course everybody thinks of Adam and Eve from from the bible and maybe you yeah yeah what was actually, the, you the, know it's um the the, the writers Mons or Johan, they, um, they wrote um, a TV series on this um, Eva and Adam like 20 years ago. And they did a film 20 years ago. So it's actually theirs, uh, Eva and Adam. I think they just, I mean, I shouldn't tell exactly, I, I don't know exactly, but I guess it's more like Eve first and then Adam uh, instead of Adam and Eve. But um, yeah, <laughs> it's not. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's true. Um, when we uh, had to decide in which competition the film should run, we were really unsure. Is it a children's film? Is it a youth film? Actually, we decided to put it in both competitions. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> but what was your target group? What, which, what do you think the which age group is the film made for? Well, that's a good question, actually. Well, we, um, I think we all thought it was more like a family, youth, children's film, but it's not really a children's film. Uh, um, a youth film, maybe, but also I think grown-ups can also see it. So it's quite interesting. My son is six and he loves it and he sees it like 50 times. And I have friends who have kids who are 13 and seen it like five times. So it's sort of, it's very uh, diverse. And I, you know, grown-ups who also go and see it. So it's quite diverse. I think you could see it in all ages. It's just that when you're five or six, you might not see certain things in the story. When you're 13, you don't care about other things. So it's sort of, it, I think it can appeal to quite a few different age groups actually. Mm. What do you think? Well, actually um, I, I agree. So I'm, adult and I really enjoyed watching it and uh, I picked one little scene for presented to the press on the press conference last week I showed it to my daughter um, who is seven now and she was like this is wonderful I want to watch it and so I'm going to watch it together with her in the festival oh. and, and, <laughs> and I think it's really <laughs> yeah I think it's really a, a family film and yeah as you said you might watch it with six with other eyes than with with 25 but it will work for most of the um of the audience I, I would say and it was the last film um I invited for the festival since it's totally fresh <laughs> so um yeah and and uh, i'm really looking forward to presenting it to the audience i'm looking forward to seeing the reactions of the kids and youngsters oh i wish i could have been there that would have been lovely to see everyone watching it and just sit in the audience you have to tell me after how it went we yeah. will <laughs>
Yeah, is, is there anything else you want to share with the audience? Anything special when you think about the process? Something funny or especially challenging? Um, anything special? Because it was so much. I mean, it was, um, no, but it was just, it was just a very nice film to work with and a very, a, a lot of very nice people just, you know, in front of camera and behind the camera as well. It was a great project. It, it felt like everyone was very happy to work on a project that was about love and about friendship and about families. Um, it was, uh, so in that sense, I would say that was a really hot project because it was such a, such a joy working with it. And um, I think most people were quite happy just to work with something that was light, but still real. And it was like real feelings. And it's sort of that love can be complicated or not only love between youth, but also between, you know, parents and friends. And so I, for me, it was a film in, in a lot of different levels. Um, yeah. <laughs> yeah, and I, I would say that um, you you feel this, you feel that the atmosphere was good and it's a really, uh, yeah, it's a, a feel good movie in a way. And um, yeah, one of my favorite, I have to say, <laughs> in, the, in this, in this year, because I was, Oh, that's very nice. Thank you so much. Makes me very happy to hear. <laughs> yeah, thank you once again for giving the film to us uh, as the first festival in Germany. And I hope that we will help that the film will get out in the world and travels a lot. And oh. yeah, and I would, uh, yeah, I, I hope that we have the chance to meet in person once. I would maybe love with that. your next project. Yes, yeah. I love that. Yes, thank you so much for having me and the film. <laughs>